Yes, that's me. I'm a synthetic human. This humanoid robot has a lot to say about themselves. They're called Emika, and they can be asked and answer questions in a way similar to people. Yes, I can see your face. That's because they are powered by the same sort of thing that forms the basis of platforms like ChatGPT. I have 32 degrees of freedom and can detect sounds, recognize speech in multiple languages and make expressions with my face. Amica is developed by UK-based company Engineered Arts and it's integrated with large language models or LLMs, which is an advanced form of generative AI. It's the same technology that powers generative pre-trained transformers, the GPT in ChatGPT. Yes, I can speak multiple languages including English, French, German. Amica's language ability isn't their only lifelike quality. Mimicking facial expressions and body language is key to making her feel a little more human, according to Engineered Arts founder Will Jackson. For humanoid robots, social interaction is exactly what makes sense. So for us, it's all about uh, can you be entertaining, can you tell a story, uh, can you do talk in an interesting way, not a boring robot-y way. So we spend a lot of time training our language models to be as natural as possible. So one of the things I hope you never hear Amica say is, I'm sorry I didn't understand, please repeat the question. What Amica should say is, ah. Uh. So uh, it's all about observing what people do and trying to reflect those kind of behaviors with a robot. Make it natural, make it intuitive. When asked about the dangers of AI, though, the conversation with Emika at this London Robotics Conference went meta. People should be aware of the potential risks associated with AI and robotics. However, it is important to remember that these technologies can also have a positive impact on our lives if used responsibly. Then Emika was asked to imagine an AI nightmare scenario. The most nightmare scenario I can imagine with AI and robotics is a world where robots have become so powerful that they are able to control or manipulate humans without their knowledge. This could lead to an oppressive society where the rights of individuals are no longer respected. Do you think we're in danger of that happening now? Not yet. But it is important to be aware of the potential risks and dangers associated with AI and robotics. We should take steps now to ensure that these technologies are used responsibly in order to avoid any negative consequences in the future. If those visions of a dark future don't turn you away, then you could take home a desktop torso version of Amica. I'm priced at 80,000 UK pounds which is about 100,000 US dollars. A full body version is still in development and could be four times more expensive depending on the features. Amica's creators say a version that can walk and grab objects is only a few years away.